In this video, we're going to take a look at our top 5 AI predictions for 2023. Prediction number 1. The release of GPT-4 is anticipated to be released in the upcoming few months, and certainly it will have a significant impact in the AI world. Recent months have seen a flurry of rumors surrounding GPT-4, the potent generative language model from OpenAI. GPT-4, which will represent a substantial step change in performance compared to GPT-3 and 3.5, is expected to be released early in the new year. Even though the recent hoopla surrounding ChatGPT has been extremely intense, the public response to the introduction of GPT-4 will be far more intense. How would GPT-4 look? We anticipate that it won't be substantially bigger than its predecessor, GPT-3, which may seem paradoxical. For best model performance given a finite computational budget, today's model should have fewer parameters but train on larger data sets, according to DeepMind researchers, who made this discovery in a significant research article published earlier this year. In other words, training data prevails over model size. The majority of today's top language models, like OpenAI's GPT-3, AI21 Labs' Jurassic, and Microsoft NVIDIA's Megatron Turing, were trained on data corpuses of about 300 billion tokens and about 570 billion parameters in size. We anticipate that GPT-4 will be trained on a data set that is at least one order of magnitude bigger than this at possibly 10 trillion tokens. It will also have fewer parameters and be smaller than Megatron Turing. It's feasible that GPT-4 will support many data modalities in addition to text such as photos, videos, and other types of data. This would imply that I could, for instance, take a text prompt as input and output an image, like Dolly does, or take a video as input and provide text responses to queries about it. Prediction number two. The general population will start using completely autonomous vehicles as their primary source of transportation. True driverless cars have finally come, after years of exaggerated hype and broken promises in the realm of autonomous vehicles, which shockingly few people seem to have noticed. In San Francisco, the general public can use the Cruise app to call a driverless car to take them from point A to point B. This app resembles the Uber or Lyft apps in appearance. Currently, Cruise only provides these driverless rides between the hours of 10 p.m. and 5.30 a.m., but the plan is to make the service available across San Francisco around the clock. This should occur within a few weeks. Waymo, Cruise's rival, is following closely. Robo-taxi services will quickly develop from an intriguing novelty to a practical, even ordinary method of getting around the city by 2023. Both the number of people using robo-taxis and the number of robo-taxis on the road will increase. In other words, the phase of scaling and commercialization for autonomous vehicles is about to begin. The rollout will take place city by city. Beyond San Francisco, anticipate that at least two more American cities will offer fully driverless services to the general public in 2023. Phoenix, Austin, Las Vegas, and Miami are all potential candidates. Prediction number three. By 2023, search will have changed more than it has since the early 2000s when Google became widely used. The main method we use to navigate and retrieve digital information is search. It is crucial to the experience of using the internet nowadays. Large language models, or LLMs, of today are capable of reading and writing at a degree of sophistication that appeared unthinkable just a few years ago. This will have a significant impact on how we search. Conversational search is one reinterpretation of search that has received a lot of interest in the aftermath of ChatGPT. Instead of typing in a search query and receiving a long list of links, as is the case with the present Google experience, why not have a conversation with an AI agent that is dynamic in nature to get the information you need? The future of conversational search is promising. However, accuracy is a significant issue that needs to be fixed before it is ready for prime time. Conversational large language models occasionally offer information that is factually incorrect with complete confidence. Sam Altman, the chief executive officer of OpenAI, recently issued a warning. It's a mistake to be depending on ChatGPT for anything essential right now. A search engine that is accurate 95% or even 99% of the time won't be accepted by the majority of users. One of the main difficulties that search innovators will face in 2023 is finding a scalable and effective solution to this problem. Character.ai, Metaphor, U.com, and Perplexity are among the surge of exciting innovative firms seeking to challenge Google and revolutionize consumer search with LLMs and conversational interfaces. 
However, LLMs will affect more types of searches than just personal internet searches. Enterprise search, which refers to the methods used by organizations to search for and retrieve secret internal data, is also about to enter a new golden era. LLMs provide genuine semantic search for the first time, allowing users to index and access data based on underlying concepts and context rather than straightforward keywords, thanks to large-scale vectorization. Enterprise search will become much more effective and powerful as a result. Large language models are being used to transform enterprise search by startups like Hebia and Glean. Additionally, next generation search opportunities go beyond text. Recent developments in AI create entirely new opportunities for multimodal search or the capacity to query and retrieve data from many data modalities. No modality offers a greater possibility than video, which makes up over 80% of all internet traffic. Imagine being able to quickly and accurately search a film for a specific time, person, idea, or action. One business, 12 Labs, is developing a multimodal AI platform to support complex video search and comprehension. Surprisingly, nothing has changed in search since Google's ascent in the dot-com era. Large language models will start to drastically alter this throughout the course of the following year. Prediction number four, humanoid robot development will draw a lot of interest, money, and skill. There will be a number of new humanoid robot efforts. Perhaps the most representative example of Hollywood's exaggerated, dramatic portrayal of artificial intelligence is the humanoid robot. Think X Machina or iRobot. Humanoid robots are in fact rapidly approaching reality. Why create robots that resemble humans? Simply because we designed a large portion of the physical universe with humans in mind. The most efficient solution is frequently for those robots to have the same form factor as the humans who would otherwise be performing those duties, whether it be in factories, shopping malls, offices, or classrooms. Robots can be used in a variety of contexts in this way without having to alter the environment. Tesla's Optimus robot, which made its debut during the company's AI Day in September, has sparked a boom in humanoid robotics this year. According to Elon Musk, Tesla's Optimus robot will ultimately be worth more to the company than its whole vehicle industry. Tesla's robot still needs work before it's ready for use, but don't underestimate how quickly the corporation can advance when it puts all of its resources into the project. Agility Robotics, Helody Robotics, Sanctuary AI, and Collaborative Robotics are just a few of the exciting businesses advancing the field of humanoid robotics. Expect additional competitors to join the fray in 2023 as the race to develop humanoid robots heats up, including both fresh startups and well-established businesses such as Toyota, Samsung, General Motors, and Panasonic. Waves of talent and funding will begin to enter the industry next year as more individuals realize the size of the market opportunity, much like autonomous vehicles did in 2016. Prediction number five. The amount of data we have to train huge language models will eventually run out. The phrase data is the new oil has become cliched. The comparison makes sense in one neglected way. Both resources are limited and subject to depletion. Language models are the branch of AI where this issue is of greatest importance. Research projects like DeepMind's Chinchilla have demonstrated that the best method to create large language models, or LLMs as I previously stated, is to train them on more data rather than enlarging them. But how much more linguistic information exists globally? More specifically, how much more linguistic data is available that passes a quality standard that is acceptable? A large portion of the text material on the internet is useless for training LLMs. It is difficult to give a precise answer to this issue. However, one study team estimates that there are between 4.6 trillion and 17.2 trillion tokens worth of high quality text data in existence worldwide. This includes all books, scientific papers, news items, Wikipedia articles, pl publicly accessible code, and a large portion of the rest of the internet all of which have been quality checked, like on web pages, blogs, and social media. Another estimate estimated 3.2 trillion tokens according to a recent estimate. The Chinchilla model from DeepMind was trained using 1.4 trillion tokens. To put it in another way, we might be very close to running out of data that can be used for language training. This might prove to be a significant barrier to further advancement in language, AI. Many eminent AI researchers and business people are concerned about this in private. 
Next year, as LLM researchers work to overcome the impending data deficit, be prepared to see a lot of focus and action in this area. Synthetic data is one potential option, but it's not entirely clear how to operationalize it. Another suggestion is to meticulously re-record the spoken words during international conferences. After all, spoken discussion represents vast troves of text data that today go uncaptured. It will be exciting and instructive to observe how OpenAI approaches this problem in their soon-to-be-announced GPT-4 study as the premier LLM research group in the world. Let's recap my top five AI predictions of 2023. Prediction number one, GPT-4, the powerful generative language model from OpenAI, will be released early in 2023, with drastic improvements from its predecessors. Prediction number two, the number of autonomous vehicles being used as a primary source of transportation by the general public will significantly increase, primarily through robo-taxi companies like Cruise and Waymo. Prediction number three, search will change more in 2023 than it has since Google went mainstream in the early 2000s. Prediction number four, Efforts to develop humanoid robots will attract considerable attention, funding, and talent. A plethora of new humanoid robot initiatives will launch, similar to autonomous vehicles circa 2016. Prediction number five, we're going to start running out of data to train large language models. Let me know which of these you think is most likely to happen in 2023 or any other predictions of your own.